Here they go again. When it doesn't rain enough, they push for more water. When we finally get a good drenching, they ramp up their demands for more water. Senator Dianne Feinstein and her congressional representative cohorts, Dennis Cardoza and Jim Costa, are once again turning scientific facts upside down to push the government to turn up the water pumping for their wealthy agribusiness buddies in the Westlands Water District. In a letter quietly sent to Secretary of Commerce Gary Locke and CC to Secretary of Interior Salazar, Senator Feinstein once again pushes the Westlands Water District's PR message that every acre foot is needed and they are requesting immediate attention and assistance to prevent unnecessary loss of water. The letter ignores the language used by the National Academy of Science in its review of efforts to prevent the continuing march towards extinction that wild king salmon face. A review that Senator Feinstein herself demanded be conducted at the request of her friend and campaign contributor, Beverly Hills billionaire Stuart Resnick. That review concluded that the science used to develop a salmon protection plan was in fact scientifically justified. But the senator's letter omits the fact that the National Academy of Sciences specifically stated that they knew of no other measures that would provide the same level of needed protection for salmon. Two congressmen who understand the plight of farmers and fishermen are George Miller and Mike Thompson. They have made it clear that any attempt to undo the government's salmon protection and restoration plans must be resisted. We've got the law on our side. We've got the science on our side. We've seen the effort to just ram through the peripheral canal. We were able to turn that back. And, and, and we've been able now, I think, to alert people to what this means for the fisheries and our economy in, this, in the whole northern part of this state. Senator Feinstein chooses to blame everything on the peer-reviewed science that has been looked at over and over again and found to be justified. Unfortunately, her letter is a continuation of her poor judgment and inappropriate favoritism towards Westlands. So it's not a surprise that there is no mention of the collapsed salmon runs or the communities dependent on the survival of baby salmon now migrating through the Delta. Baby salmon pulled off their migratory path and sucked into the giant water pumps and killed. Just when some of us thought reason and science finally was winning the day, it looks as though the Westlands Water District's PR and political hacks are reloading their guns, using discredited notions that water flowing to the ocean is unnecessary. Now, you might reasonably ask that given the fact that the Sierra snowfall this season was above average and water deliveries are expected to be near typical for the year, why is Westlands pushing so hard for more water and claiming that we're still in a water crisis? The answer is simple. It's because any water that they can get from government-run pumps in the Delta would come to them cheap, because that water is heavily subsidized by taxpayers. So turning up the pumps means much fatter profits for Westlands than if they'd used water bought at open market prices. You see, in the California water world, it really does pay to be well connected. There is a reason river water flows to the ocean. The Sacramento Bay Delta and San Francisco Bay is an estuary, a nutritionally rich mixing zone of fresh and salt water that baby salmon and many other species depend on for survival. Senator Feinstein knows that, but obviously she cares more about appeasing her big ag campaign supporters than she does about protecting the most important estuary on the west coast of both the northern and southern hemispheres and her own constituents who need that estuary to be protected from the greedy demands of a small group of rich bullies. The protection of the salmon fishery is not only required by law, it is required by our stewardship of the environment. Senator Feinstein needs to stop doing the bidding of the west side growers who continue planting water-intensive crops in toxic desert soil. Her continuing efforts are a disservice to hundreds of thousands of people who depend on having healthy runs of wild king salmon. More than 500 people showed up in the middle of the week in San Francisco on April 1st to attend the Salmon Summit, and we know you care too. Let Senator Feinstein hear your voice. Write her a letter or send her a fax. Send her an email. Tell her that salmon grow where water flows. 
Tell her it is time for Salmon Water Now.